Economists believe that the revival of a commercially viable high-speed trail, HSR, privately financed with the government managing its liability, could bode well for the country. The suggestion from Sultan of Johor, Sultan Ibrahim Sultan Iskandar, to have the contractor operate the line on a 30-year lease and return the HSR back to the government once the lease ends was also feasible. Malaysia University of Science and Technology economist Dr. Jeffrey Williams said if the HSR was commercially viable, then it could be funded by the private sector. Williams added that provided there was a proper economic, social and environmental impact assessment, a realignment might provide a solution to the HSR's funding and help save the Forest City project. The HSR project was initially announced in 2013, was officially scrapped in 2020 after Malaysia requested a postponement in 2018, citing an estimated cost of 110 billion ringgit Malaysia. On July 27 this year, My HSR Corporation Sendiran Berhad conducted a request for information RFI for the Kuala Lumpur Singapore HSR project. The RFI exercise marked the government's initiative to reactivate the project via a new funding mechanism and implementation models. In November, My HSR extended the RFI concept proposal deadline for the project until January 15, 2024 from its original deadline of November 15, 2023.